Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at ZTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you the integration of vCenter Orchestrator and the web clients connected to vCenter. First of all you have to start the vCenter Orchestrator servers on your vCenter server if you have installed it on the same server and after uh, starting the vCenter Orchestrator servers then you can configure your vCenter Orchestrator servers right here and you have to configure your orchestrator server by discovering it and you can put in a username and password and then everything is connected. You can also go to your orchestration server configuration and edit over there. The cool thing about the integration of the web client and orchestrator is that you can actually run your scripts, your workflows right from the web client. So for instance, if I'm going to my vCenter server and I'm going to my host and clusters and I select one of my ESX hosts and I do a right click on this ESX host and I'm going to all vCenter actions you will see that there are some additional uh, some additional uh, some additional workflows available when going to this menu item and those workflows are coming from the orchestrator so when I'm going back to the orchestrator right here I can manage the orchestrator and when I'm managing the orchestrator I can add my scripts and I can enable them and also decide where those scripts are visible and who can run them and there's even a possibility to schedule those scripts so in this uh, in this example I have a quick migrate of virtual machines it's enabled and it's enabled on a resource pool so when I'm going back to my uh, to my vCenter server and I'm going to a resource pool right here and I'm selecting a resource pool then I see that all my vCenter orchestrator actions is showing move virtual machines do a, do a quick migrate, mass migrate, create snapshots so these scripts are coming directly from the orchestrator and when I select one of those scripts and uh, the only thing I have to do is select the destination host in this case this, it's an input parameter of the orchestrator and, uh, and in this way I'm able to run my orchestrator workflows fully integrated from vCenter so if you want to create your own workflows it's a bit of a steep learning curve it's quite simple but uh, if you want to do the real cool things you have to do some javascript editing and that can be a bit hard so I'm going to show you that vCenter Orchestrator comes with already 200 ready to run, run workflows and when I'm going back to the orchestrator right here you will see that in the library of the orchestrator at the workflows the orchestrator server already gives you a, a wide range of scripts available when I'm going to the vCenter section right here I see that there is a batch part, there is a host and cluster part and every script you can think of is already uh, created and the workflow is al also already created so there are some guest operations like uh, copying files to and from virtual machines, move directory into guests there are some host management scripts and you can see that there is already a wide range of workflows available in the orchestrator there is also a special zip file at the VMware website which contains a lot of uh, additional workflows and those workflows can be used directly so without any scripting there is already a possibility to do some real cool things in the orchestrator the only thing you have to do is go back to your uh, orchestration home go back to manage add a new script and when you add a script you can add a script from your library and your library contains all those ready to run pre-created scripts and it's just uh, selecting one of those scripts and uh, adding it to uh, the workflow section deciding uh, on what object this script must be run so in this case it's enable iSCSI adapter and it can be run on an ESX host click OK and then you're done it's enabled and it's in the list so when I'm going back to my vCenter server and I'm going to one of my ESX hosts oh, one of the ESX hosts 
uh, you will see that the script is uh, visible or the, the workflow is visible there uh, to my hosts. Right click and then orchestrator actions, enable iSchoolsy adapter and you can run it right here. The host is an input parameter in the workflow. You just click finish and the iSchoolsy adapter will be uh, enabled on that particular host. So it's fully integrated. There are over 200 workflows available in the orchestrator. The only thing you have to do is enable it and uh, you have to start the orchestrator uh, service on your vCenter server and then you're ready to run it. It's a free product. It comes with vCenter and it has a lot of uh, capabilities of, 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 of automating things. The cool thing about the orchestrator is that it's not only able to talk with, for instance, vCenter, but it's also able to talk with vCloud Director, with your update manager, uh, every single thing you want, to, you want to, to communicate with is available. The orchestrator works with plugins and then you can do a lot of automation in your uh, in your environment, in your data center, and use the vCenter orchestrator. I will show you some other videos later on, which uh, will show you how to create your own workflows and how to add additional uh, plugins. But for now, this is the demo of the vSquare web client with orchestrator integration. Eric Sluvis signing off. Bye bye.